as you all know, GitHub released uh, GitHub Copilot for Xcode uh, yesterday. So I'm going to show you how you can get started with uh, GitHub Copilot and uh, how you can use it in your Xcode, provide the permissions, etc. Because it took me a couple of minutes to know what's going on there. And uh, that's the reason I'm making this video. Hope it's helpful. All right. So as you can see, um, I have the github.com website open. So you can Google just GitHub Copilot for Xcode and it will take you to this link. And this is where you can get the app. So yes, here, this link, you can click on it and download the app. And once the app is downloaded, um, you will see a DMG file in your downloads folder. And then when you double click on it, you'll see a window like this. So now after you see this window, you just have to drag this icon to the applications folder. I've already done that. So I'm just going through this, but after you do that, what's next? So you have to give a certain set of permissions, which I'm going to show you here now in this video. So if, yeah, you can open up your spotlight and type in GitHub, you will see GitHub Copilot for Xcode and GitHub Copilot for Xcode extension. So you just open the GitHub Copilot for Xcode. And remember that you need to have this running for the GitHub Copilot to work in Xcode. If you close this off, uh, it won't work in your Xcode. After you open this app, you will be shown this particular view. You can click here. So these are the two permissions that you need to provide. One is accessibility permission. So it's good that uh, once you click on it, it directly takes you there. And as you can see, I've already given this permission. So that's not it. You have to click here as well. And now here, there are two things. First is here, you have to give the permission here. And then that's where it took me a couple of minutes to figure out, you have to again, go click the eye icon here. This window would be shown. And then you have to enable here as well to enable the extension. And then restart Xcode and that should be it. So then everything should be working as expected. Let me open up Xcode. And now let's say you have your Xcode open. You can go to editor and then GitHub Copilot will be shown here. If everything, all the permissions are given, GitHub Copilot will be shown here. If it's not shown, that means you have either not given some permissions or something is not right. And here you can enable, disable, completions and etc. And clicking here will also again open up this particular view. You can even go to Copilot settings here, which will again take you to the browser. And here you can see all the settings. I have the one of the most important setting for me at least is this one. Allow GitHub to use my code snippets from the code editor for product improvements. So that's well and good if you're code is open source, but if your code is closed source, it's not open source, then yeah, I would suggest disabling it. Otherwise you are letting your code being uploaded. You're letting your code to be uploaded to GitHub and GitHub may use it and may use that code to give suggestions to other, other people. So it's like kind of like your private code making it public because the AI knows about that and uh, it may use it for suggestions. So I have disabled it, but you can enable it if you're using mostly on open source projects. So it's good to even help the AI. So for me, I have got GitHub Copilot for free because I'm a maintainer of a couple of open source projects. So when I use there, I don't mind enabling this. I hope they could have given us uh, this option per project. So that way more granular control I mean. So that way I could enable it for open source or public projects and not private ones. Okay. So yeah, this is how you can get started. Now, if you do, so yeah, this is uh, all GitHub Copilot, as you can see, all the, the entire line is suggested to me. Although this is not fully correct, but yeah, this is to show that it uh, it's, uh, it's working as expected. Okay, now it's suggesting me some other function. All right. Okay, I hope this short video helped. Um, I would say go give it a try if you make apps. I think this uh, would be a good one. I'll try and use this and see how it fares with the uh, cursor and maybe make another video of my love from my learnings. All right, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.